Hi everyone, it's Artist from Man Carpentry. Today's job is a bit of DIY. If you like, we're gonna put a vinyl floor down. I'll just show you the floor. It's um, basically thick plastic, if you like. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We got to put underlay as well. Um, there's this one which we're gonna use. Um, uh, as with every flooring, with this flooring you need to leave 8mm uh, expansion gap and uh, keep that in mind, obviously floors need to be clean uh, without any lumps so that's the first job you want to do, prepare your floor make sure that there's no lumps and bumps and whatnot because this is only thin flooring and only thin underlay so obviously any unevenness in the floor it will be shown. If you do it on a, a floorboards, don't forget to screw uh, the boards down which are loose or uh, check for nail heads that they're not sticking out etc. Because um, they potentially damage your floor. Um, but yeah, apart from that it's somewhat similar to laying a laminate uh, flooring or um, old flooring is just thinner. Um, but the process will be very similar. Uh, the only difference is with this uh, click system, you do a row at once, uh, and then on a the second row, you click the short ends together, uh, and then you take the whole floor and click it in, in place. And that's the only difference between, say, doing um, you know, engineered flooring, say. Uh, because you do board at the time, you put adhesive on, etc. Uh, or even if you float it, you need to put PVA on, PVA on on the joints and you know do it that way. So that's the difference. This is all dry, no adhesives, nothing. So um, also uh, they recommend you cut around um, uh, the architect, etc. But what I'll do, I'll take more tool, I'll cut under, so we can slide it under rather than cut around. Um, that's the only thing I can do and then we obviously gonna need to trim here some sort of trim there um, to finish that off uh, and I actually think what what I would probably suggest what I will do I probably gonna try to get like a glazing bead uh, rub the glazing bead and put that neatly into the void uh, and that, to be fair, should 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 finish it off. I think um, probably get a white one because of the tray, because um, then you can go neatly around corners, etc. And yeah, that should then um, work out okay. Obviously, watch for your pipes, etc. We got just soil pipes to worry about. Uh, luckily, radiator pipes are from the wall now. So yeah. I hope you're going to enjoy it and I'll catch up you in a bit. We've done the first job, we swept everything, we took all the bumps and lumps off, which is mainly plaster really. Uh, so the next job is put the underlay down and yeah, and then we can crack on with the flooring.
I wanted to share with you that with these wider tiles, uh, it's harder to get them fitted individually, so you really need to do a row because it's uh, the now just doesn't want to fit as well as if you remember we did those uh, narrower planks. With them, you can easily do individual planks if necessary, but here. I find that it's a bit more struggle, so um, the best to put it one continuous row. So put all the short ends, uh, click them together, and then try to click the whole um, whole of the um, row as at once. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it is a bit of a struggle. So you might find it that it doesn't quite work as easily as with. Uh, narrow planks which you can quite easily do individually and um, clip in position so that's what I have noticed it can be done like where you get around the doors and that where you got no choice but you um, you could possibly damage the edge or something you know so uh, best if you uh, just put it as as instruction says especially with the wider ones if it's a this is a thing 610 by 300 so if you got 150 by you know whatever length then you should be all right but with these i think that edge is just too wide it won't slip easy enough so you can get it actually uh into the groove because you need to lift those slits slightly uh, and it just doesn't work as well so yeah just thought i'll let you know and i'll crack on with doing this floor We have finished, as you can see, we have fitted all the floors. This is for bathroom, this is vinyl floor. Uh, fairly easy to cut with a, with a uh, either saw or standing up with when you got uh, sort of smaller details like that. And sh small strips I cut with jigsaw. And when I uh, could, like go across, I've done with the knife this time because this was quite easy. I must say, you gotta have a probably a, a pack of blades because it does get blunt fairly quickly. So, uh, yeah, well, this flooring job is done. We've done four bathrooms, we got one more bathroom to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and it helped someone. Little tips of how to do things easier. Um, I just go through the tools we used. So this is the, was the jigsaw we used. Then I used hand mallet and the fly bar. You're gonna need square. Well, equally you can have a hand saw. Um, doesn't have to be jigsaw. It's just easier. You need a knife, level or a straight edge. Pencil and mortar tool. Mortar tool is really for undercutting here, as you can see under the doors, so you get a nice neat cut. That's what it's used for. So all you got to do, just sit down and straight what you do with it. You put your underlay down, then you get your thick flooring and you just cut it uh, along, cut it off. Um, and that's that will give you perfect gap uh, from floor to the arc trev. It's quite simple. Uh, also, obviously, don't forget to have a um, to have a sharp blades. And lastly, you're gonna need packers. Uh, you need basically eight millimeters, I would say, 
all the way around for expansion that should be plenty here we got less that's because we're gonna put a um, we'll put that rubber uh, and that should sort that out but everywhere else we try to get an hour day no gap uh, and that should be enough unless obviously you get a leak then nothing will help really so uh, that's the uh, undercover for vinyl so check around undercovers as well because they do uh, do the uh, do differ from laminate to vinyl so this is vinyl one it's like foil back uh, but it should say generally on a pack as you can see this one is for vinyl flooring there are some which are for laminate I've, I've used for laminate foil back anyway but you just read to get a right product and you should be good to go so hope you enjoyed it and it helped and I'll catch up with you in the next video.